Hi everyone, in this video tutorial, we will analyze stress in composite pressure vessel using Abacus. We will use lamina type for composite material, and I will show you how to define stacking reference for composite material and lip orientation. Let's get started. First, let's start with creating of our pressure vessel of composite. Let's create part. Part one, pressure vessel. See the deformable shell revolution option. Click continue, and let's create our sketch. First, create, for example, the circle with radius equal to two hundred fifty millimeter, and let's create. Line and also create another circle. And now let's create this sketch and trim all unnecessary lines in our sketch. Now we have the main sketch of our of our pressure visa let's create done and let's enter the value of revolution and degree of revolution let's use 360 millimeter to use to create those part with shell element, shell type. Now we have our part of pressure vessel represented by hollow part with shell element. Let's go to create property of our composite we need to use in our pressure vessel. Composite material mechanical elasticity elastic let's create lamina type for creating our material composite and enter property of composite in megapascal and now click ok we need to use elastic property in material and we need to analyze in linear elastic in this step let's create section section select shell homogeneous continue and now we we can't use this now no don't see let's go to create composite layer name of our composite composite pressure vessel and now we need to add the number of layers in our pressure vessel for example let's use for example five we need to use continuum shell because we have shell element and for creating our part continue now let's add some details in this section let's select region right click edit region select wall part where we need to use our composite material edit material composite select okay thicknesses let's edit the, th edit the thicknesses of each layer 0.25 millimeter for example click okay and orientation of each layer 0 45 minus 45 60, 90, click, enter now, all things looks good, click OK, but let's take a look at reference direction in our, of our composite material, the main direction, the direction is going through 
and define its side let's resolve this problem for creating the reference direction of our material the main direction let's go to create discrete orientation option edit and define our discrete orientation let's go to select surface to represent the main surface select first second third click done this is the main surface where we have a normal direction normal axis now let's select the primary axis the main direction of our composite let's select this axis that means this is the main orientation of zero direction with with high mod young modulus let's reselect it or if you need to use this direction as a fence direction you can use you can select this line this edge to add as reference direction click ok primary axis represented by p1 primary axis normal axis this normal to the surface click continue and click ok let's edit again as you can see here have orientation depending to our edge circular edge we selected for reference orientation click ok let's plot our place tag our stacking to see our stacking in our material now select faces we have five layers in our composite material in our thicknesses let's add option of symmetry property of our composite let's make calculation calculated section symmetric click ok if we have any property of symmetry in stacking click ok now we have property of symmetry we add property of symmetry in our model let's go edit and remove this property you can use if you have property of symmetry in your stacking of composite now let's go to assembly module and create instance we have just one part select it and let's go to step we need to analyze static analysis with linear elastic material click ok we don't need to adjust anything we don't need any interaction because we have just one part let's go to load to create our boundary condition select boundary condition step initial step displacement rotation continue select the top point and the bottom point in our model okay let's limit the movement and displacement in x direction and z direction click okay let's let's represent and display display our plan now let's go to apply pressure inside our vessel let's create initial step one now apply load create step one pressure continue let's apply 25 megapascal in the surface and side let's select purple side 
of our vessel because we have shell we have two sides the brown side and the internal side with the purple color let's add 25 megapascal okay as you can see here this direction of our pressure in the internal side let's go to mesh meshing our part let's add 10 millimeter apply okay let's change the element type quadratic structured we can't use structured let's use free at medial axis okay to optimize our mesh shape click yes now we have our mesh in our model but we have this zone in this this type of mesh in these zones let's go to let's part our model to create more optimized mesh let's first create the tomb plan to create plan for creating partition let's hide our mesh select create the tomb plan selecting three point to create plan now we have plan the tomb plan create partition using this datum plan select faces where we need to create partition select delete previous mesh click ok select datum plan ok now now we have partition in this side let's add another in this side create datum plan select three point to create datum plan we have another datum plan let's create partition select wall faces select the tomb plan create partition now we have a right partition let's change type of mesh structured now we can use structured mesh click ok mesh yes let's represent our mesh now we have our mesh looks good in our part let's go to analyze and create our job create job create add a name for our job name continue okay let's check our model first completed check let's continue our job to see what happened in our result continue okay we have completed job let's go to the result and let's see the plot the form shape let's deformation scale factor 210 to see deformation let's minimize the scale factor to one to see to show the real deformed shape this is stress distribution of mitosis in our composite material and also in the pressure vessel Let's go to see displacement. Okay. 
also let's see stresses in x and y and z direction and each value of pressure also we can also plot each layer alone to get the result in each layer alone let's set point select point select play select each which with which layer you need to get results apply okay let's we have the pressure in the first layer for example let's change this for this example the fourth layer apply okay apply fifth layer for example the fifth layer fourth layer third layer it just plots the first and the fifth layer this is our pressure in the fifth layer in our concrete in our composite material of pressure vessel also we can see mices in this layer until now i hope you enjoy with this video don't forget to subscribe in my youtube channel and like this video see you